Welcome to Fred TV News, trending now. I'm Austin Texera. And I'm Eric Quad Ware. Each year, fashions change. Trending now are new fall fashions for females that are sure to add style and flair to your look. Be it a new coat or just a simple accessory, Madison Barboza shows us there are plenty of options to choose from. Hi, my name is Madison Barboza. As the weather gets colder and fall turns to winter, we have to ask ourselves, should we change our wardrobes? I asked a few people their opinions and then I explored a few looks myself. Let's take a look. I like jean boots and um, turtleneck sweaters, those are cool, and scars. I love long sweaters, sweater dresses, and warm boots. Anything from the Mock Jacobs collection I find rather fascinating. This year, fall fashions are all about layering colors. In the first look here, a navy pea coat, green long sleeve dress, and black heels are shown. The next look shown is a short sleeve casual striped dress complemented by a yellow khaki coat and tan loafer flats. This outfit is a bit more casual and can be worn to school, work, or for any other daily activities. Have you ever wanted it to be a fashion inspiration to others? Try a 70s look that's coming back, denim on denim, to be the talk of the town. Need business casual? A perfect colder weather pair is a black skirt and warm sweater, like this red sweater here. Some other looks this year include sweater dresses and heeled boots, plaid coats, and one of the most casual and comfortable looks of all, a sweater and warm boots. Of course, you can always try a fur coat for ultimate warmth and fashion inspo. Wow, I'm sure I'll be trying out a lot of these looks this season. I'm Madison Barboza, now back to studio. Looking good, Madison. Can't wait to see your next story on guys' fashion so I can get some ideas too. Austin? Thanks, Quad. In technology, laptops and other traditional computers are becoming a thing of the past. With the mobile movement and their portability, tablets have burst onto the scene. But are they really the go-to option for consumers? Mira Saba has more. Hi, I'm Mira Saba reporting from the Fred TV studio in Durfee High School, asking technology professionals how they feel about the tablet computer revolution. Let's take a look. The first tablet of its kind was coined by Microsoft in 2002, which was virtually a pen-enabled personal computer. Since then, hundreds of tablets have entered the market to form a gray area between smartphones and laptop computers. How important are tablets to you and your job? Well, I was looking into buying a laptop a few years ago to replace my old one, and looking at the pricing, I said, well, I don't use a laptop as much anymore. I have a desktop at home that I do my editing. So I, I took a look at the iPad, I said, this is going to be a great option. I can get internet wherever I go. It's portable, and it does almost everything for your basic functions that a laptop can do. So I love having it. Technology companies have been competing head-to-head -to, -head to produce the ultimate tablet that combines the convenience and recreation of a smartphone as well as the productivity of a computer. I think tablets are cool and I feel like they're very innovative, but I think for school-wise, I think laptops are more for me because I can actually type and it's built in and I think it's much easier for my schoolwork to get done. One of the biggest questions following the tablet movement is whether or not they can prove to be complete computer replacements. Microsoft has boasted their tablet's computer functionality by adding Adobe Flash and SD card slots, while other large companies like Apple have just entered the business with their biggest tablet yet, the iPad Pro. The iPad is a very effective business tool, uh, especially when you consider all the apps that are available for business, everything from stock tracking to uh, presenting PowerPoints or actually controlling various slideshows or whatever you want to do in the business uh, world really can be handled by the iPad. Can't wait to see how rapidly technology will change in the next few months. Reporting for Fred TV News, I'm Mira Saba. And with technology always changing, who knows what they will come out with next? Perhaps something that can do my homework for me? Well, Austin, not sure about that one. But whether you have a tablet, a smartphone, or a traditional computer, you can always buy music. And luckily, new albums are always being released. Sydney Resendiz hits the Hall of Durfee to see what's trending now in music. Hi, I'm Sydney Resendiz, reporting from the halls of Durfee High School, where we are asking students what new music releases they are most excited for this fall. Let's take a look. What are you waiting for? Chart toppers such as Ellie Goulding, Justin Bieber, and One Direction are all expected to drop albums in the coming months. We got our 
Nobody can drag me down. With many new releases this fall, which are you most excited for? Kanye West. Kanye West. Why? He's the Kanye best. Justin Bieber, because I like his music. I'm excited for Ellie Golden, because that's my girl. Well, I'm very excited for Adele, because her vocals are just so impressive, and I'm just so excited to hear it. I'm really excited to hear One Direction's new album because I heard they have a new sound and I'm really excited to hear it. I'm excited for One Direction because I love Niall. <laughs> Out of all the new releases, I'm definitely most excited for One Direction's. Why is that? I mean, this is their fifth album in five years and every year they just write incredible music, so I'm really excited what they have this year. So there you have it. One Direction's new album is the most anticipated for this fall. I'm Sydney Rezendi's Fred TV News. And for One Direction, this is their first full album after the band's fallout with former member Zayn Malik. Speaking of Fallout, the new Fallout 4 video game is set to be released in stores later this month. Our own Yoriquad Ware has the inside look at some of the new releases for this fall. Hi, I'm Yoriquad Ware, and today we're here at Games to Gold, where we're taking a look at the anticipated fall gaming season. Let's take a look inside. These two games are great for children who want loads of fun. Fans have been waiting nearly 10 years for the release of Fallout 4. You can definitely say it's the highlight of this season. Another notable release is the sequel to the critically acclaimed reboot of Tomb Raider. Just in general, it's like big titles come out. Obviously, Halo, Call of Duty, Madden's, of course, sports games in general. Everyone looks forward to. Uh, that's just the time to buy games, and of course, good for Christmas too. People looking forward to the holidays. Always getting good games. What can you say to parents about choosing the right game for their child? Definitely uh, pay attention to the ESRB rating. Uh, ESRB, whether it be a rated E game, T game, M game, uh, it all shows what the game is rated on the back of it. So if a game is mature, it may have blood and it may just not be suitable for your children. So usually people prefer to go team rating. I talked with a couple of customers to get their thoughts on the season. So what do you have to say about the gaming season? Well, game season this year, it's great. There's a bunch of new games coming out. I'm loving it, especially for the Xbox One. Uh, mostly uh, 2K16, NBA 2K16, and uh, Madden 16. Also, Gears of War, the new Gears of War that came out. A lot of people have been talking about that. Star Wars Battlefront, because the first Star Wars game on Xbox One. It's coming out on Xbox One, new platform, new system. It's about to be great. It looks great. And that's it for today. I can't wait to play most of these games. Catch you next time. Great story, you quad. I'll be sure to put one of these on my Christmas list this year. That's going to wrap up this edition of Fred TV News. I'm Austin Texera. And I'm Eric Quadware. Thanks for watching.